Sunoda taking gold at the 48 kg category. Incredible stuff. Just Tomoe Nage's and armbars everywhere. Made quick work of a lot of her competition. This one here, at first they thought it was a Wazari, but ended up giving it an Ipon. So, first round pretty easy for Sunoda. Round two, two Wazaris to seal the deal. And one thing you'll notice about Sunoda's Tomoe Nage is when she goes in, she uses both legs. Kind of one leg on the hip and the other between the legs. So interesting way to do a Tomoe Nage. She's also come down in weight class, so you'll notice she's quite a lot taller than a lot of her opponents. So using that length to great effect. And after this, we're going to jump into the quarterfinals, and you're going to see some armbars, and you're going to see some people in pain. So if, if you don't like that, guys, this might not be the video for you. But of course, we're all judokas, right? So what judoka doesn't like a little bit of pain? Right, guys, here we go. Quarterfinals now. Great control there with the Tomoe Nage, gets the Wazari straight into the armbar. And the Italian does well to defend, but Sunoda, she does a bit of grappling, does a bit of nogi stuff, and she knows how to get a tap. So, using the gi now, breaking the grip off. And, I mean, the Italian, she thought about tapping there, but then Sunoda moves it across the hip to the other side, and that's going to be painful. Semi-final now. And in this clip, you get a good look at just what she does with the legs on the entry. Goes in down there once and then throws both legs up there. Doesn't get it that first time, but in this next exchange. And, I mean, she she reaps that arm. She does not care about that arm. On the commentary, they were actually saying, you know, she held onto it a little bit too long. But you guys judge it for yourself. I think, honestly, it should be the ref. The ref's job to step in there. See the taps when they come. Don't just walk around the tatami, run. And come on, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. It's not as bad as what Tanaki did, right? Right, oh guys, finals now, so we'll take an extended look at this. But from the get-go, you'll see that Sunoda, she wants to make quick work of this, so doing what she does. Deep grip on the tri-step, double legs for the Tomoe Nage, straight onto an arm. It's amazing how she just finds the ability to jump on people's arms and you would think I mean she's done this from round two three quarterfinal semi-final you would think that people would you know maybe learn to defend it I'm not too sure maybe she's just so good at it defends the Ochigari goes in there and Sonoda I mean she's very very careful when she goes in for these attempts she makes sure that it looks like a legitimate attempt goes for it two three times look for the Nawaza I mean that warrants a Shido in my opinion but no, I mean, she's been so consistent with it, throwing people, looking aggressive every time she goes down there. So, I mean, you let them away with one or two, right? Defending well here and looking for a bit of Nawaza. A lovely sweep. Scores a Wazari because hands were not on the mat. That's right, right? You have to have four, four limbs on the mat for it to be considered Nawaza. So a little Jujutsu sweep like that. Good stuff. Here we see her locking up the arm, but she's still still in the guard. Still got that leg locked up there looking for the pass now. She's in reverse Kesagatame with an arm locked up. Now we're into the hold down here. In my head I'm thinking this is an omla plata, but it's not just because of the way the grip is. Usually you would have your leg in there for an omla plata, but what is it? A kimura rollover? I'm not too sure. My now the terminology is quite terrible. Yokoshi Hogatame? Tateshi Hogatame? Reverse Tateshi Hogatame? Is that even a thing? I don't know, but... Bit different in the final. Not going for an armbar. Securing it with the Nawaza. So Sunoda, just complete dominance over all of her opponents. And world champion once again. Alright guys, like, subscribe. Plenty more coming for the world championships. Stay tuned.